five emerging neighborhoods in Dubai. Perhaps you want to watch out for these if you're looking to invest. Some food for thought in this video for you. Showreel first. Hey guys, welcome back. If you want expert advice in detail to help you pick up good investments in Dubai, there's a link below. Hit it, click it. Let's talk. Like, subscribe, and bell icon would be something very, I'd be grateful for you. And if you've got a genuine question, just ask me in the comment section and I will happily answer during the live. We take up live questions or, you know, questions you've asked in the comment section. Check this out. I want to give you five uh, emerging neighborhoods in Dubai. These, this is going to be some food for thought for you, especially if you're new to Dubai. If you're not new to Dubai, some of this you might already know. Now, number one, in my personal opinion, is Creek Harbor. I personally think this is an extremely undervalued area in Dubai. Why do I think it's undervalued? I think the current price does not reflect what the opportunity actually is. Okay, actually rather... If you really think about it, the current price, because I personally believe it's low, but the potential is really high. Let's just say it's undervalued based on the potential that it has. Let's talk about it like that. So I'm not saying it's undervalued today because if you go there, you're going to pay market price, whatever that market price is today. But what you've got to understand is that with what the potential is, it's right now very, very well priced. Okay. Why? Number one, it's master planned by Imar. Who's Imar? Imar built Burj Khalifa. Enough said. They've delivered 80, 100,000 plus offices, offices, residential apartments, villas, townhouses, hotels, rooms, so on and so forth. If you really think about it from that perspective, Imar has delivered quite a number. I think globally, there's perhaps maybe 100 companies that have delivered these many properties to end users. Great company, great end user focus, good customer service, good after-sales service, so on and so forth. But then you've got to understand a little bit beyond just why Creek Harbor. Look, downtown was built by Imar. Dubai Marina was built by Imar. But there were other developers who bought plots in the early days of the Dubai boom who ended up developing in downtown. Okay, If I showed you downtown right now, I can right now show you one and two buildings in the downtown area that were not built by Imar. The thing is, when Imar has full control, like it does in, in the Creek Harbor now, they are able to manage the entire area their own way. I'll give you one very big example. Entire Creek Harbor has extremely, extremely big parking all throughout downstairs, right? Downtown doesn't have that. Downtown's parking is limited, okay? Now, I want to move forward faster, give you some food for thought, okay? Plus, Creek Harbor has water. Future, they'll have a mall coming up and so on and so forth, okay? Enough said. MBR City, okay? MBR City. What's going on over there, okay? Number one, it's literally about 10 minutes driving distance from downtown. Imagine, like, 10 minutes driving distance from downtown. This place is also undervalued. The mall has not been built yet. Might get built later. Uh, but there is a lagoon, water coming in, and a lot of buildings, people, things are getting delivered there, which means... A lot of traffic inflow with a lot of people that people will be able to sustain a mall of course in the beginning they will come to dubai mall but they're not very far from burj khalifa which means that this place is also undervalued okay number three okay number three dubai studio city okay this is one area that you don't hear a lot about but if you're considering dubai sports city jvc arjan consider dubai sports city as well it's clean cut it's less residential, somewhat commercial as well. And it's being managed by a very good master developer. Okay, so consider Dubai Sports City, Dubai Studio City as well. The third one I want to talk about is JVT. Why? Okay, number one, it's very close to Sheikh Zayed Road. Okay, I just found out about this recently when I went on my deal hunting expedition. The JVT has got five beds. For 5 million. Okay. Whereas Jamea Park. Next door. Has the same 5 beds. For 7.5 million. Can you talk? Can you think about this right? Like a 2.5 million dirhams. Difference. What does this mean? What does this tell you? 
JVT gives you a lot of value for your money, like a big bang for your buck, okay? And I'll tell you, there is an opportunity for you to go into JVT and kind of like uh, play around in the two to five bed villas. You can buy and flip. It's, a, it's an opportunity that exists today. Disclaimer, when you do go and actually do this, you got to still do your homework. Last but not the least, okay, guys, Imar and Dubai South, okay? What's the deal? People have already started moving over here. People have already started telling me that, hey, they like living there. They like going out of the city. They like to be away from the city. Dubai World Central is all going, going to be getting busier over there. And Expo 2020 site, which is now still operational, you'll see over the next two, three years, will get busier and busier and busier, okay? All of these places need research and homework to be delivered for you to know if you're picking up the right deal, how deal, what deal, and what means what, okay? I'm just giving you some food for thought. These are the top five emerging neighborhoods in Dubai, Creek Harbor, MBR City, Dubai Studio City, JVT, and Dubai and Imar South. Consider them if you're just coming into the Dubai market as an investment. I'm not telling you that this is it, because at the end of the day, strategies should be customized to you, but it's starting food for thought, all right? There's a link below if you want to work with us, hit it, click it, let's talk. Like, subscribe, and bell icon, and ask me any question in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer, all right? Ciao for now. Hey guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope you liked it. My name is Fad Daud. I've been doing this for 15 plus years. I started in uh, Toronto, Canada in 2006, and since 2007, I've been based in Dubai and doing real estate in Dubai. Look, if you're looking to work with me, there's a form below and my mobile number. I do paid consulting. You can also uh, get help for, uh, from my team for services. If you like the video, press the like button, press the subscribe and the bell icon and share it with uh, your friends who you feel would be able to benefit from the content of this video. Last but not the least, I'll repeat, me and my team's role is always going to be to help and select the best property for you. Your role will be to invest in that property and we will in turn invest in your life and your future. Bye for now.